Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear first order differential equation using an integrating factor. An integrating factor is a function that if we multiply both sides of the equation by, it makes it much easier to solve the differential equation. The first step is to make sure the given differential equation is in the form shown here, where we have dy dt equals p of t times y equals f of t. And notice how the given equation is already in this form. Let's replace y prime with dy dt. So we have dy dt plus three y equals t times e raised to the power of five t. Notice how this term here is a function of t times y. In our equation we have three y, which means p of t is equal to the constant three. This is important to recognize because the integrating factor is the function mu of t, which equals e raised to the power of the integral of p of t dt. So in our case, the integrating factor mu of t is equal to e raised to the power of the integral of three dt. Well, the integral of three dt is just three t, so the integrating factor is mu of t equals e raised to the power of three t. And we don't need to include the constant of integration when finding mu of t. So now the next step, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by mu of t and write the given differential equation in this form here. So we have e raised to the power of three t times dy dt plus the next term is going to be p of t times mu of t times y or three e to the three t y equals. On the right side we'll have e to the three t times t e to the five t. Let's go ahead and simplify the right side. Let's multiply e to the three t and e to the five t and write that as e to the power of eight t. So we have t e to the power of eight t on the right. And now the left side of our differential equation, this side here, is the derivative of the product of mu of t and y. Which means you can write the left side as the derivative with respect to t of, again, mu of t times y, which would be e to the three t times y. Let's go ahead and check this. To find this derivative, we'd apply the product rule. We'd have the first function, e to the power of three t, times the derivative of y, the second function, which is dy dt, plus the second function, which is y, times the derivative of the first function, which would be the derivative of e raised to the power of three t, which is three times e raised to the power of three t. And now our last step is integrate both sides of the equation and solve for y. So we'd have the integral of the derivative with respect to t, of e to the three t times y integrated with respect to t equals the integral of t e to the power of eight t dt. Let's continue on the next slide. On the left side, the integral and the derivative undo each other and we're left with e raised to the power of three t y. We would have a constant of integration, but we'll just include that with the constant on the right. But now on the right side, integrate t times e raised to the power of eight t. We'll have to use integration by parts shown here for review. Let's go ahead and let u be equal to t and dv be equal to e to the eight t dt. So we'll differentiate to find differential u. Differential u is equal to one dt or just dt. And now to find v, we'll have to integrate. Performing u substitution, we'd have u equals eight t, so differential u is equal to eight dt, dividing both sides by eight. We have one eighth du equals dt. So I'll have an extra factor of one eighth when integrating e raised to the power of eight t. The integral of e to the power of eight t with respect to t equals one eighth e to the power of eight t. So now applying the integration by parts formula to the right side, this integral is equal to u times v, which would be one eighth e to the power of eight t times t, or one eighth t e to the power of eight t. And then we'd have minus the integral of v du, which would be the integral of one eighth e to the power of eight t dt. Let's factor out the one eighth here. And notice how to integrate here, just like we did before, 
what the perform u substitution. So we have e to the power of three t times y equals one eighth t e to the eight t. Then we'll have minus one eighth times the integral of e to the power of eight t dt, which is one eighth e to the power of eight t. And of course we have plus c, the constant of integration. So let's go ahead and simplify here and then we'll divide both sides by e to the power of three t to solve for y. So we have one eighth t e to the power of eight t minus one sixty fourth e to the power of eight t plus c. And then we'll divide both sides by e to the power of three t. So simplifying we have y or y of t equals here we can simplify e to the power of eight t divided by e to the power of three t. That would be e to the power of five t. So we have one eighth t e to the power of five t minus one sixty fourth e to the power of five t. And let's write this last term as plus c times e raised to the power of negative three t. This would be the general solution to the given differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.